Hello, Lee Walton, professor. This is part four of our lecture series on viruses and viral structures. Let's jump back in. Just a reminder, sizes and different distances. The rotavirus particle and the synthesis virus particle uh, it's very important. These are called the outer shell angstroms. It's about 700 in diameter. It's about a millionth the size of a tennis ball. Let's recall the chemical bonds are between one and two angstroms in length. And that's why chemists often use angstroms rather than anometers. It's the natural unit of the chemical bond. So when I say 700 angstroms, you can think of that as 500 atoms across. It's a volume, of course, so the molecular mass of these particles is some tens of millions of, of these. So let's bear in mind that during this lecture series, the following three questions we'll talk about more, but just these three particularly, let's, let's focus on. The main point here is to try to introduce you to the following issues. First, why most non-envelope viruses and smaller envelope viruses clearly have symmetric structures? Second, what do the building blocks of these particles look like? Turns out they're very similar to the building blocks that are used over and over again in the evolution of different viruses. So, finally we'll talk about the outer proteins the envelope viruses of some of these. So we got a lot to talk about, so let's begin. Let's start with symmetry. What does symmetry mean? Symmetry suggested by